Welcome back to Site Tech and your Mountain Training videos. In this video today, we're out on site with one of our customers, uh, Post Asphalt. I'm gonna show you how they are setting up their job site. They don't have a model, they're creating a model on site and we're using a total station because they're working up against buildings. So Post Asphalt is set up here with their uh, case skid steer. They're running their level best and we're gonna run UTS today. The reason for that is they're working on these uh, storage units right here. What happens is your GPS isn't gonna work right up against the side of the building. When they get right underneath that canopy at the top right there, or right up against the doors, they lose GPS signal and they need the accuracy. So what Ryan has done is he set up their SPS 930 total station here. They've gone out here, the customer themselves has already set the elevations on the ground for them. So he's basically making his as-built off of existing control point or points that are on the ground. We just have these simple points that they set with hubs and the top of these represent top of asphalt. So what he's doing is he's shooting this bay right here off of the lip of the garage doors itself using the concrete and shooting that as a line string all the way along and he's using advanced measurements to project a model at a 2% over 30 feet. So he's building his own model as building it off of existing points right here. Now with a total station, unfortunately, you're gonna have a scenario where he has to move that total station to see each bay individually because total stations are line of sight. So right now he has set up off the corner right here to where he can shoot this bay and this area and you can see where he's at down here, but we're gonna end up moving the total station two more times. He'll have to set it up in this open bay down here to as built the center. And every time he moves it, we're gonna actually shoot control points and then he will hook his total station up into machine control mode to work off of his actual MT900 right there. So what we've done is now that he's done with that bay over there, we've moved the total station over to we have a, so we have a line of sight inside this bay right here. And uh, this is Ryan with Post. Say hello. Hello. So what he's doing now is we're just re-leveling up the total station so that we can backside it back into some control points. Um, that's one thing I failed to mention is when he had the total station over there, you can't just pick up the total station and move it over here and it, uh, it still tie in to what we've already shot or he shot. So he went ahead and set some control points, made his own out around this area right here so that once it's moved here, and he levels it up, he'll reconnect and he'll do an arbitrary and shoot it back in to control. So everything he shoots, all three different setups is gonna tie in. So, yep. Look at that one, one bubble just stays there. That's a master of the bubble. So we just reconnect to the total station at this point and do arbitrary and then go and shoot in a couple control points. Okay, so now what he's doing is he's setting up on his first control point. He's got the total station actually tracking him. And we are simply just getting our first control point to back sight in to reposition where the total station's at so it knows where it's at in conjunction to everything he already previously shot. So the other thing to keep in mind uh, is to make sure your control points aren't in a straight line. Your total station will set up if you back sight in a straight line, but it's always good to have an angle. Now Ryan has shot his second control point and he's going to a third one to average that out. And he's got a really nice V is what I call it. So he's got good angle on all these different shots. If you do all of them straight in line with the total station, it will still set it up. That's kind of one of those things out in the industry is, can you do it straight in line or can you not? I personally don't have luck because the total station is setting up what I call a plane and it doesn't understand planes very well if it's a straight in line. Now that the total station is set up, he's gonna go ahead and just start shooting along the edge of the garage doors, which is his, his finished floor elevation, which is gonna be top of asphalt. He's gonna go ahead and build line strings and shoot all the way along the doorways right here. The thing he will need to do too, is he's got some brake lines in here that'll have to be adjusted. And what he'll do is he'll shoot a line string or a brake line, if you will, all the way around this drain box and this uh, second drain box back here. But we've got a high point in between these two drain boxes right here. This is still just kind of a rough grade on the bottom right here. So he will have to establish a brake line from this garage door all the way through where I'm standing to this garage door over here. 
to make that brake line in between the two. And as he shoots these as brake lines and not just line strings, that'll allow him at the very end to be able to take all his, uh, his work order and basically create a model out of it. He's gonna surface it as design, which will give him two different things. One, it'll give him the option to be able to use his total station to check grade, set grade, set hubs if he had to, if you weren't using um, a machine control option. But since they do have their machine control, he will surface his design, and then we're gonna actually export it out to the machine. Plug it in the machine, and like I said earlier, each one of these bays, he'll turn his total station from connected to his, his data collector into machine control mode. And they'll actually still grade this entire thing out using the total station on his skid steer over there. So it's just a systematic shot by shot at this point. So this is what we call Kung Fu. Sometimes when you don't have the elevations that you need set out there as hubs, what he's doing is he's using the last known elevation off the corner of the garage door right here. And he's holding his, uh, his rod up to that elevation, takes the shot. Back here, he's gonna take a straight line all the way across to this garage door to create an elevation so that it'll actually drain back to this drain box. A lot of times I don't hold my rod in the air. I'll just, I'll just take a shot on the ground. I'm actually gonna do it here. I'll just take a shot on the ground in line because I can edit the elevation later. We'll come over here. We'll get out of that and I'll come over here. And that elevation I want to be here, it's a 94,999. So I'll just go ahead and grab that last point and edit data. Antenna target height. Change that to elevation, and it was a 94.999 save. And now this elevation is over there. Perfect. A couple different ways to do the same thing either hold the pole up or edit the elevation. It's probably more accurate to actually edit the elevation because then you know what the actual elevation was from right there. So that's a good way of doing it. Now what Ryan's done is we've picked the total station up and moved it over here to the third bay because we needed line of sight for this last one. So he's gonna go ahead and shoot it in arbitrary off the same control points that he shot previously to make sure that everything ties. And then he's gonna come out here and he's gonna do the same exact thing. He's gonna build his line strings and his brake lines and his points for this bay using the hubs that have been set from us for someone else. But remember, total stations are line of sight. So that's the only pain in the butt part. Um, GPS won't work under the canopy. Total station will. It's gonna give him really good accuracy, but the line of sight side means he's gonna have to run each bay individually at this point. He's got two drain boxes also on this side. So he's gonna shoot that one and that one, but he will have a brake line that he needs to put in between these two to actually make sure that it matches. No model isn't really a big deal. Sometimes they're only gonna be here for a day, maybe on the grading, and then try to pave this when they have temperatures. So right now he's just using the finished floor, creating a line string to be able to see what the slope percentage is to the existing ground because some of this does have to be uh, kung fu in. We've got an actual hub right here, but this back line right here doesn't have an actual design laid out for him. He's kind of figuring out his own elevations to make sure they get their proper one and a half or 2%, whatever they pick to get back to the drain box right here. So sometimes you gotta make your own line strings, check elevations and do what you gotta do to get it done. So after Ryan shot the building and shot over here and found out what the, the feet, feet is, it's about 48 feet. And what he's gonna do is go at a half a percent from the building, 48 feet. He's gonna use advanced measurements. So he is gonna shoot a line string along the edge of the building on the floor elevations there. But as he's shooting along the building to use that as the elevation, he's gonna use advanced measurements to project over 
a line string to this side that'll be 48 feet over half a percent down so he doesn't actually have to shoot any of their over here. He'll build this line as he's building that one uh, for the elevation. And then as soon as he just shoots in the drain boxes, uh, the surface uh, as designed will actually pull all that together and make it for him. Now that he's done shooting his last drain box right here, what he does is takes that work order that has all of his shots on it. He's gonna go in and do surfaces design, and view it, make sure he likes it. Once we're done there, we'll go put the total station into machine control mode and import it into his Earthworks skid steer. So right now what we're doing is we've got our thumb drive put in. He's just doing the uh, data management and export to machine. Job site's been created so this data collector itself, this TSE7, is going to write the file formatting that needs to go out straight to the machine. So now what I'm going to do is put this into machine control mode. Project setup, machine control setup. Hopefully a video like this helps someone out there. That's my intentions here is there's a couple different ways to get from point A to point B. This video was intended to show you how you can show up on a job site with 3D gear and actually make your own model. You just gotta know the process, know how to do it. Um, a lot of people just learn on the fly. That's how I learn and that's how Post is learning here. So hopefully this video from Site Tech Intermountain training videos helps on building your own model and not being afraid of the gear that you've spent the money on. So thanks for watching again.